Hi everyone, Manuela Marikajani from Isomers Laboratories. Welcome to our channel. And this is a channel where we talk about skincare science from a manufacturing perspective and the perspective of a cosmetic chemist, something that we've been doing here at Isomers Laboratories for over 30 years. Today, we're going to talk about lactic acid. Lactic acid, what is it? It's actually, I, when I think about lactic acid, the first thing I think about is Cleopatra. And you know, Cleopatra is the, you know, she's known for beauty and she, you know, this, this, this persona that she has and, and her relationship to the beauty industry and to beauty itself. It's like the epitome of beauty, the goddess of beauty. So one of the things that she used to do is she used to take baths in ass's milk. So ass is a donkey, donkey's milk. She would take the milk of donkeys, they would allow it to go bad or become sour, and then she would sit in these baths and she would have the most beautiful skin. And the reason is because that milk is full of, as it sours, is full of lactic acid. So lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that comes from milk. And lactic acid is also naturally occurring within our bodies. So if you work out, for example, say you're, you know, you're doing some heavy lifting and you do a workout and then, you know, you, you've waken up those muscles and the next day you're sore and they say, well, that's lactic acid buildup. What's happening there is your muscle has torn because it's going to grow and the lactic acid comes in and helps with the tissue repair. So lactic acid, yes, is an alpha hydroxy acid, but it is an actually very interesting component and ingredient. So it has the ability to build muscle, has the ability to moisturize and soften and hydrate and protect your skin. So when you have chapped skin or dry skin, um, very chronic kind of uh, skin dryness, the one of the ingredients we use in the formula will be lactic acid because it does have a moisturizing effect and it's very skin friendly, skin identical. So the skin actually kind of likes it for a dry skin. But lactic acid can also be used as an exfoliant, alpha hydroxy acid. So it's got, you know, a lot of opportunity in it. So you can use it as a serum for exfoliation, especially, which is really great for people who tend to keloid or people with very sensitive skin or, you know, people that just want to be very cautious or slow with their skincare routine. Lactic acid is a very friendly type of ingredient to use as an exfoliant. You can use it in your moisturizer. You can use it from head to toe. Um, it's just a really, really great uh, ingredient. It's not uh, particularly um, aggressive. It is uh, something that can be used on most, uh, all skin types and at all ages. So it's kind of one of those, it's like an niacinamide in that sense. It's one of those ingredients that has a lot of purpose, it has a lot of value, it could be used in a lot of ways to really benefit your skin. So if you're you know, ever wondering, you know, I'm a little bit cautious, I don't wanna use ingredients that are too aggressive or too outside of the scope of what my skin Nat is naturally occurring or can understand, lactic acid is a very safe bet to utilize. We formulate with lactic acid a lot in our moisturizers. We use it as part of the natural moisturizing factor. So although it is an alpha hydroxy acid and it's known for cell renewal, we actually as cosmetic chemists utilize it in the, the part of the natural moisturizing factor element because it is part of a healthy skin structure. So we like to have it in our creams to really help maintain that really nice cellular organization, skin structure, and skin barrier function. What can you use lactic acid with? Well, basically you could use lactic acid with anything. So you can use it with a retinol, of course, because if you are using your retinol, um, especially if your retinol is a cream version of retinol, chances are there's a bit of lactic acid already in that cream. So yes, you, you can use it with your with your retinol uh, with your AHAs absolutely there are a lot of times where you will find formulas that actually mix your acids together right so it'll have glycolic acid lactic acid malic acid 
together in a combination. So yes, you can mix it, That's, there's not a problem. You can also mix it with your BHA, so you can do it with, you know, lactic acid and beta, and uh, beta, sorry, yeah, lactic acid and salicylic acid, the beta hydroxy acids. Those can go together as well. So you see how it is very versatile, lactic acid? Absolutely can use it with calming acids or calming ingredients as well. So you can use it with hyaluronic, you can use it with niacinamide, that's a really good one too. Um, and you could also, because of its ability to affect pH, is a nice combo with your vitamin Cs. Um, and because it's part of the natural moisturizing factor, I think it also helps boost anything that is going to work on your skin barrier function. I hope you enjoyed our conversation on lactic acid. It's one of those ingredients that has a long history. It's kind of fascinating, right? Because you think about it, is it, you know, when you think about it, it's an AHA, so it's only exfoliating. There's so many other things that lactic acid has done in the past and will do in the future. So you've got it in you. It's a good thing. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. I look forward to talking to you again.